Today is my first tutorial on Patreon. I hope you like it and we're going to create the stars. So for the beginning, we need to use a, or create a simple shape. In this case, it will be a circle. And the circle uh, has to have the same resolution as its parent. So we're going to use Python in this case, and we're going to write me that parent, open and close parentheses, that part, that uh, W, we copy this, press enter, and paste it to the other input, and change the last letter, and we go, uh, write H for the height resolution. So if you can see, we have the same size as our parent. If we go back, we can see, check this and this line. And we return and going to create a null operator. And we're going to change the name for out one. And then we're going to move a little bit of this and I'm going to change the side of the circle and move this here. Okay. Right now, we, what we need to do is change the uh, edges of the circle. Put a, a little bit about noise because it's important. Have a lot, a lot of changes in the image, so we're going to use a noise. And again, we change the resolution the same as our parent. So we copy and paste our One, line two, of code. So right now, we need to create a displays. So there it is, and then connect this noise to displace. Uh, at the beginning, don't worry, it will be a little bit crazy, but we change the displace weight a little bit. And yeah, you can see this, how the noise is affecting uh, the edges uh, of the circle. So if you go into noise, go into period and change the number, you can see the different small noises than the other. And we're going to put a little about animation, so it will be ABS time, that seconds, and uh, multiply by 0 0.15. So it's a little of effect around the edges. So for our next step, we're going to change the inside of the circle. So for that, I'm going to create um, I'm going to create a noise, for, but going to start for displays and create a noise and it needs to have the same resolution as our parent but if you remember in the last uh, noise we create that uh, or we set up that with the code but in this case how I, con I connect the displays to the noise I have ju uh, just the resolution using the input so if you can see our circle and noise are in the same image they put together because we connect the displays to the noise, we can change that. We go into output and select just the noise. And in this case, we change a little bit of this. And it's because we need to create a mask of this and the mask work in um, black and white. Um, maybe not too noisy, change the expose. And obviously animate this, the same code, A, B, S, time, that seconds. And we multiply this for by zero dot two five, and then we create a level level just for again more uh, contrast for black and white, and then we're going to use composite and connect our circle to this level, and we're going to use upside luminance. So you can see we create a mask of our shape uh, using a noise, who is animated. So for the next step, I liked um, a, a filter who the designer give us to you go to here to palettes and you go to image filters. You have uh, this feedback edge and we're going to, if you can see, create a lot of noise of the image. We connect our circle here. And then we connect here, give me a second again, here, and we have these beautiful noises or edges or whatever the name we can use. And we, I'm going to change the color of the circle because I like the um, palette color that I'm going to use later. 
I'm going to use the same I used it before and this is will be 0 0.3, 6 and then 0 0.1 and then 0 0.47 This is a little like a purple So yeah And then we continue with this And we're going to create uh, transform just for again create more uh, information and in this case will be rotate again a b s time that seconds and we're going to multiply uh, by 15 for you can see more it's faster uh, with a high number but i don't like when rotated to the left so i I'll put uh, minus 15 and rotate to the right side Lives uh, right di direction, and now we're going to create a null because we're going to start with a feedback. So I create a feedback. Always a feedback will be connected with a uh, we our keyboard because we need to reset this. And if I press one, it's uh, working. We connect this to our reset, and if we press one, we are resetting our feedback. Right now we need to connect a noise. And again, we change the output for a noise, and we change a little about the uh, parameters, maybe it more uh, noisy or not. We change the amplitude. We need to put uh, in color, and then here we're going to use a slope. The slope is creating like or detected like the edges of the image. I change a little bit of the zero point, and then. I, I, I put this together and use average for in this case and then uh, I'm going to connect all of this with our displays again and I'm going to display this so you can see al always will be a, a chaos so we change the display to weight and so you can see sometimes it will be like a uh, I don't know nebula something like that but I like this so you can see the difference I'm going to maybe change that a little bit, put a minus here. And then uh, we're going to always a feedback connected to a level. Here is the level uh, again. I'm going to disable that. And then I'm going to create a composite, connect a level, and change the operation to maximum. I'm going to put in the feedback the target dot will be our final composite. So you can see it's like. I don't know, painting here, and we change the uh, level, the opposite, uh, opacity, sorry, and there it is, it's like creating something around of our star. So, uh, next, uh, we can apply color. So, does this, sometimes it will be the fun part or not, but I have um, a tool that I loved a lot, is color lover picker. Uh, you can download, and the creator is calling she voice. Maybe I'm going to say it wrong, but that it is. And you have a lot of options. I'm going to put a null so you can see. And if you use, uh, can see here, it's a ramp. So I'm going to use look up what it is. Look up here it is. So I connect this, and you can see our image is the applying all this color so if I press here I can select a lot of color I like this I'm going to use this uh, palette and maybe I'm going to use I like this tool HSB adjust and change the saturation or not or the volume multiplier no sometimes the hue so yeah Maybe something like that. Maybe you can change uh, a few things, obviously, with level. There it is. And we change the contrast or not. It's depend on everything you, what you like, you can change. So maybe it's something like that. And I'm going to close this. And another option is we can use a ramp. Oh, we'll, we'll always to the left is the uh, upside. And to the right is the inside. So in this case, the left is black. So the background will be uh, black. And I'm going to change the color here so you can see. 
So there it is. Uh, so applying the color to the image. And if we get disable this, you can see it's really uh, red. If we put another color, you can see the difference. So yeah, I, I prefer use this tool. Uh, I like these colors. Let me change a little bit here, here, and see what happened. Maybe it's too much uh, saturation, but it's okay. We can change that later. We need to put more details. Um, in this case, uh, I'm going to create a null just for finish this process of the color, and then we I'm going to select edge. Uh, that's as the name said. We have the edges of the uh, image. And I'm going to change this as you can see here how this strange applied or affect to the image if you like we like it or not. Uh, or what happened with the black level, more detail or less detail. So yeah. So I'm going to apply two levels and uh, the first one uh, will be white and then I'm going to apply a level just for change the opacity later. If you want to change it, uh, create a composite and then use add. So disable this. You can see our image have a lot of details around of this. So yes, that is cool. But maybe we can change. This is too much. We can change that in the opacity. Go lower na a number. Maybe not too much detail. Yeah, depends of whatever you want or like. And yeah, maybe 10. And maybe what happens if we change the color? Maybe blue. Yes, always take, uh, take time to decide what color, w what we use, what we're going to use. So, And we're going to repeat the same uh, thing at and then connect a level, here it is level, and then create a composite, and then connect the composite to the level, and again add. But in this case, uh, we don't need too much detail, so I'm going to change a little bit the edges. And I'm going to go too close, maybe here to this place. Yes, it's just for a uh, little of details. Maybe change the color, more blue. Yeah, so then maybe white, maybe blue, let me say. Uh, maybe this I like better, yeah. Uh, so did you see this, that? Uh, we can apply it a bit, a little bit of details. I like always create a, like a, texture uh, over the image. I'm going to apply the noise here and then I'm going to change yeah, the scale, the period. Then I'm going to apply the level for change the opacity, create a composite and then change the operation, obviously connected and change the operation uh, to overlay. I'm going to change the level just for create that grain in the image. Maybe in, in the videos, then doesn't you, uh, you, uh, you can see it, but it's there. And we're going to back maybe for change a little, a few things. Maybe uh, what happened if I copy this just in case. What happened if we change the colors? Yeah, maybe. It's yeah, I, mean, I like this better more than the other because the yellow is not too much bright and. Yes, uh, you can play with all of this. Um, and for example, with this noise, you can change the period. So you have crazy things. Yeah, like this. Maybe you go smaller. Yeah, craziness. So yeah, you can play around with all this. So. I hope you like it and if you have any questions just uh, write in the comments and bye.